not every day somebody asks you the question, do you want to interview the Insane Clown Posse? But that question was sprung upon me today as case the producer here at Q101, a case for Riot Fest. And it is my honor to have right here one of the men in front of me. How you doing, man? I'm doing fantabulous. You're doing fantabulous? Yes, and I see you got my boy shirt on. Smashing Pumpkins, Billy Corgan, Siamese Dream, 30th anniversary. That's right. You get along with the Smashing Pumpkins? I'm da- I, that's my boy. You're down with the pumpkin. No, I, I'm not only am I, I've been, been down. You've been down. But I never thought I would be texting and hanging out with Billy Corgan. What's it like texting with Billy Corgan? What do you guys talk about? That's what's crazy is um, I basically talk about what am I doing texting you, dude? <laughs> and why are you responding? You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, yeah, just, you know, all our career, we've been like, the um, underdog, the underground, literally, you know, no, we don't have any hits. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, but we a don't, strong we, cult following, if you will. Yeah, yes. yeah, we've been there. We've been there, but we don't have any hits, and we don't have, um, you know, we weren't having videos slamming all over MTV. No. You know, so we look at all our career. I'm looking at Billy Corgan, who's the holding the matrix. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Yeah. In, in, in those fields, you know, and I and just never thought we'd, and we weren't playing the same venues, that's for sure. But um, we end up talking now, and we're both pro wrestling fans. I was going to ask you guys to talk about wrestling. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we're also doing a song together. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> a Smashing Pumpkins ICP collab? Something that's going to blow the moon into particles. And straight up the butthole of the black hole. Man, in Despicable Me, they try to steal the moon, but I didn't think we'd ever have a song that would blow the moon into particles. That's right. Wow. Hey, it's, you know, one thing about life you can guarantee, my friend, is nothing's guaranteed and expect the unexpected. Well For said. real. That's the only thing you can guarantee is change. That's the only thing we know that will never stop happening is change. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Well, we can cross our fingers and at least hope that you'll be playing Riot Fest tonight. Uh, I'm curious, Chicago, is that a town that treats you well? Yeah. Any memories jump to mind when you think, oh, man, we were in Chicago this one time and this happened? Oh, man. Uh, One time, Shaggy passed out on stage and and couldn't be revived for some reason. And they shut the curtain and his feet were sticking out on the other end of the curtain still. You know what I'm saying? And the crowd was like, what's happening? What's happening? And the scary thing was we were backstage yelling that even louder. What's happening? It was terrifying. (laughs) But uh, other than that, we've had the normal, regular standard chaos and um, anarchy we always have everywhere. You know, it's been a great town for us. Extra supportive, extra love, you know? Good, good, good. Are there towns... And maybe everybody at this point is down with the clown, but when you guys were first starting out, were there cities you would roll into that were like, nah, not for us. We don't like what they're doing. Or is around the country, is everybody still pretty friendly? It's, I mean, it's always going to be that, you know what I'm saying? But it's a strange thing on the road, man, because um, I believe to a degree, energy travels around like weather, all right? So you might go into a town you normally have slamming ass shows in and kill it, right? And get in there, and it's just, where is everybody? What happened, you know? Yeah. And, and, and it, you try to think, is there something going on? In the, is it a holiday? What, what are we missing, you know? But it's just it's just an energy, you know? So even though our band is known, and we generally have fans that are going to come out to any, any event, you know, the hypeness of it or the uh, amount of fans that come out is always going to be different. And, I, and at our, we, where we're at, we, we're playing the same venues we played our whole career. Uh huh. We, there's never been a time we used to be here and down here. Oh, there was that ICP Stadium tour. It's crazy. We, had, we don't have any hits, so there was never like an up and down for our. You know, it was pretty much the same level of of uh, success. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I mean, it, everybody is pretty much the same, and um, we've been we're happy and unbelievably unbelievably blessed you know good, good. Well, i'll let you go in just a second i got two more things for you i notice as you're sitting across from me here you're pretty iced out you got the necklace you got the grills yes. what what all what, what all do we have here do you know just in, in a general degree how much you might have on your body right now is there a dollar amount you can point to oh my friend let me let me give you the truth about reality here uh-huh this shit don't cost nothing <laughs> i'm not in this bitch for carrots and I'm not trying to have a hip hop battle of who's got the most grill uh, iced out pieces in their mouth. I went for the cheapest 
and it, I just wanted it to be real. Yes. But I said, give me the cheapest kind of diamond, and if you got to throw some fake ones in there, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So I'm trying to talk my girl right now into letting me get grills. So will you look into that camera and say, Mackenzie, let Case get grills? Mackenzie, quit hating and start congratulating. Let the boy put the ice storm in his mouth. Put the ice storm in my mouth. Real quick before you go, I got one more question for you. You're such a nice guy. The Juggalos, such nice people. Do you feel like there's any misconceptions about you or your followers that you just want to address real quick? Man, I'm not out here complaining. Today, I think most people are pretty hip to the fact Juggalos are dope. You know I would agree. I would concur. They're, they're, they're their own people. They live by their own freshness. They do their own thing. And they ain't trying to hurt nobody. And, 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 they, and they ain't even trying to just be left alone because they're welcoming. You know what I'm saying? Every time a writer goes to the gathering, they expect to get beat down because there's something different. And all they get is love and welcomes. You know what I mean? And it's been that way for so long. I'm happy where we're at in pop culture. Good. I'm happy you're here. You treated me with such kindness. Thank you so much, man. Good luck with everything. We'll talk to you soon, okay? Thank you, Case. My man.